Patch testing is something that we talk about in the beauty industry an awful lot. And the reason for that being is that you should patch test every product or every new ingredient that you ever use in your beauty regime. But then you think, well, what is a patch test and why? Well, the reason that we say you should do that is whenever you introduce a new ingredient or new product into your routine, you could have a reaction to it. And the way to safeguard that reaction is to actually see on a very small area of skin if you are allergic or going to have a reaction to it. And that's what we call a patch test. Now, patch tests you should do with every product you purchase, whether hair, skin, makeup, body care, it doesn't matter, whatever beauty product you buy. And the way to best patch test, first of all, is to actually use it. If it's a body product, you can patch test on an area of the body. And if you are patch testing on an area of the body, then it's easy to do it on things like the inside of the arm. That's quite a sensitive area of skin. So if you're going to react anywhere, it's often in that area. And what you do is you just put the small amount of your new purchase product or ingredient onto, say, the inside of your arm and then don't put anything else on that area and leave it for 24 hours. If you know you're a very allergic and sensitive person, then I'd go one step further than that patch test. And if that was all right and you have no reaction whatsoever, then 24 hours later, I'd apply it maybe in a bigger area. So the first patch test, maybe the size of a 10 pence. The second patch test, maybe the size of a five pound note. It's much easier to control and to get your skin back in good condition if you have a reaction on a small area than if you put a product all over your body. Now, if it's a makeup or a skincare product or a hair care product, you need to do it near the face too. The easiest area for that is if you're very allergic, start on the body, like on the inside of the hand, as I've just described there, sorry, the inside of the arm, but then actually do it behind the ear. Because again, if you have a reaction here, you're not going to be able to see it. And therefore, it's actually going to be for easier for you to calm it down. And behind the ear, maybe just about the size of a five pence piece, put a product, might be your makeup, might be your hair care, a scalp product, might be your, obviously your skincare products are a must patch test there. And again, do the same. If you leave it for 24 hours and you don't have a reaction and you know you haven't really got sensitive skin, then you should be all right to go on and actually use that product. If you know you have sensitive and allergic skin, then take it with that one step further. Put it there, five pence piece, put a bigger patch there if you want to then, a couple of days later. If it is something that you know is quite tricky area for you, like you have quite allergic eyes, then do your eye patch test here and then don't put it all over the eyes after a few days once you've passed the patch test. Actually just put it maybe just a tiny bit on the eye area and only on one eye for one night. And then after that, you should be fine to go on and use it. Now that's what we talk about when patch testing and that should be done with every new purchase. It should also be done with every singular ingredient and really you should also do it even if you haven't used a favourite product for a while because you can be allergic or sensitive to even a favourite product or ingredient from years ago because your health stage has actually changed too. And the other thing is that when you have been very ill treat your skin as very sensitive and see my tutorial on skin through illness. Now that might mean after illness or serious medication, when you go back to your beauty regime, you've got to go back to a very simplistic beauty regime and all your favorite previous products you can't use yet. And you just need to slot them in one at a time by doing that patch test technique and building up your beauty regime to see what your skin, hair, makeup or nails can now take. So that's the way really for you to stay in control of what your skin likes and what your skin doesn't like.